Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Stanley Parable. In the last episode I defied the narrator a bunch and ended up playing Minecraft and Portal and going through the game and I died. I, there are so many options to take in this game. Um, so I am going to try to find some more. Uh, so I've come to this part that I was at in the last episode and we're gonna see what happens. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode of the Stanley Parable. Now! I was able to jump from there onto the ramp over there. I'm going to see this might be a bad idea. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story, <laughs> okay. and no one gets to tell him what okay. to do, okay. Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. That's fine. Good job, Stanley. Everyone <laughs> thinks you are very powerful. I thought maybe it would be something new. Okay. I'm going to get back there and I'm going to try uh, the, the other way that I think I can take from that thing. Whoa, wait, wait, no, that changed everything. There's papers all over the floor. There weren't papers all over the floor before. Oh my god, why is there papers Stanley all over the knew floor? the office layout like the back of his hand. What the hell? It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of wait. time. Wait, but there's papers. There's papers everywhere. Are you not going to mention the papers on the floor? The whole floor is riddled with papers. They were not there before. Trust me, I'm an expert. Okay, 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 okay. 420, yeah! Anyway, input. Yay, input received. Okay, let's uh, just go past all this stuff. And uh, I'm gonna defy the narrator once again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, I went in the door on the right. Way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Exactly. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Mmm, wow. drink it in, it's yeah. so delicious. This <laughs> okay, let's get out but of here. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So the door straight ahead. Okay, got it, got it. No problem. Okay, so I'm going to here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, mm -hmm. it's incredible he wasn't fired years okay, ago. Okay, is there anywhere else I can go in here? What's this? What's this? Can I go in you? No? Okay. Fine. We're just going to go in this thing and we're going to go up there. Because uh, I went down there Stanley, last time. I think perhaps we've got And down there is death. Here. Unless there's sure some way I can really get down. I realize that investing is something your trust soft in I can land else in? can be difficult. Okay. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For whom? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Wait, who? She's been waiting. Who? What's going on? What's going on? I'm happy. I'm excited. Oh no. Big dark scary room. Oh god. That's her, Stanley. Is it? Okay, pick up the phone. Hello? Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about Get your day. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, gotcha. No. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying oh. to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Can I go? Sorry, but you're in my story now. You're a son of a bitch. Okay, 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 okay. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Son of a bitch. Good morning, employee 427. Press X on your gamepad. I don't have a gamepad. Gamepad. I said gamepad. Didn't mean it. I meant gamepad. I don't have a gamepad. I really wait. That one? I don't. I don't have a. But Stanley one? is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Please press that one. Look at him there. Yeah, pushing he did buttons, it. Doing exactly what he's told to do. I didn't even realize I had a gamepad over here. 
Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except hey, that he's baby. chosen this life. Okay. Press X. Press X. Which one's X? I, I, game I didn't mean to leave the game bad plugged in. Is that X? Is that X? Is that X? But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, oh, Stanley dreamed dang. of wild expeditions into the unknown. Oh. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Please press A to watch TV. Which one's A? And so he began to fantasize ah. about his own job. Oh. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. So? The thought excited him terribly. Press A to spend time with it. Which one's A? My gamepad is numbered. It says one, two, three, and four. I can't I didn't so have a normal gamepad. Okay, okay, shut up. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Okay. At okay. last, okay, just choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought Damn. that his decisions would wait, mean wait. something was almost too wonderful to behold. I can't, uh, wait. Which As he why? wandered through this it's fantasy why? world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And what? down another was a yellow line what? that weaved in many directions. What? And down another was a game with a baby. And he yeah. called it the Stanley Parable. Sweet. Press, ah, uh, God, why did I put it down? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press A to tell your wife, hey, baby, I love you. Or maybe I don't. Which one's A? But there is no answer. Oh, How could there possibly be? Okay. In reality, I all he turn. <gasps> I buzzed it! Doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. I don't know how this Nothing works. has changed. Oh, God, the longer hard. he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Press X, go, go to which one's X. And I'm trying to X. tell him this. Three is X. And in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Press right trigger to be at work in the morning. That one. Wait. Wait. But right trigger is pause. Can he just not hear me? Right trigger's pause. Can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press X to question nothing. Okay. I suppose I can't. Sounds good, buddy. In the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I and wanna. I tried again. I don't wanna. And Stanley pushed a button. I don't wanna. And I, I don't wanna. Oh, I pushed a button. I pushed a button. I didn't mean to. Now I'm dead. Ah! Let's start over again, right? The end is never. The end is never the end is never. The end is never 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 Okay. Wait. This is different. Okay, here we go. Now listen carefully, this is important. I'm gonna listen to him this time. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, what's in the red door? Oh thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy? This is not going to bring me back to the beginning. The problem is, is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere oh that isn't here. And running circle. and running and running, circle. just the way you're doing right now. Damn it. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just. I wanted to stop. I would. We would both be so much happier if going we backwards. just 
antechamber. Stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's a dark room. Ah, oh, that's two dark rooms. Are they the same dark room? I don't care. Going in this dark room. Loading! What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? What are you? What is this? Where am I? What the hell is this? Outer space. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Okay, I don't trust this. I'm leaving. No, See ya. Wait. Where are yep. you going? I'm heading now. Sorry. I don't trust you, dude. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll <laughs> lose all of this. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. I'm careless. <laughs> Please, no, Stanley. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Wait. Wait. They don't want to... I don't want to die. I don't want to kill myself. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. Uh, but that's going to start me over. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Wait. No, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. I've come this far. I can't turn back now. Got to jump off the stairs. Wee. No. Hey, I'm still alive. Oh, See? That was a good call. Thank God. I'm going to do it again. Lived. You had me worried there for a... No. No, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? <laughs> because it's fun. Eee! Stanley. Still doesn't hurt. Let's go back to the other room. Can so one go? more time? Oh my god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Yeah. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Yeah. Am I reading the situation correctly? Ouch. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. Is it going to kill me this time? Looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Yes. Well, this one is yours. Okay. Wait, is this going to kill me? Is it over? Yay! It's going to restart, isn't it? Oh no. I'm going back. Alright, back to the beginning. Sweet. Sweet. Love the beginning. Let's go. Gone. What could it mean? What decision do I want to make to now? To the meeting Let's go the normal way. Let's see what happens. We're gonna go the normal way. We're gonna listen to what the narrator says and see how they've changed things in the normal road. So he wants to go on the left. To got it. Got it. Doors. No, I got this. He entered the door. I got head. this. Don't worry about it. I'm a professional when it comes to this game. Yet there was no single Just we're not getting fired. Blah, 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 blah. Stanley not going in the broom go closet. To his office. I'm going go to go upstairs. Stanley walked upstairs to his go boss's up. office. And hey, what's in this door? Nothing, okay. So we're going straight to the boss's office then. Just going to hang out in the boss's office. Executive bathroom. I need to go to the potty first. I've been playing this game for too long. Hey, what's up? I'm here for an appointment with the boss. All right, I'll show myself in. Uh, where is he? Where is that son of a bitch? I deserve a raise. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Ah, uh, yes. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley yeah, wondered code. in disbelief who orchestrated this. What oh, dark secret again. was Who's being held from him? I know. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk this one? guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh, no. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh, no. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Okay, Amazing. Wait, wait. He awesome. stepped into the newly opened passageway. What is this? Okay, so it's gonna lead to the same thing with all the computers, and I have no choice, and I'm gonna blow up the world. Is that where this is going? Or did they change it? Let's go. Let's see what's different here. 
<laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. All right, here we go. Yeah. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large mind door that read Mind check. Control Facility. Oh, I have options against it. Okay, let's try. Oh god, oh god, I have options. I have options, I have options, I have options. Let's just follow the narrator this time and then I'll cut to me going through the normal, the normal, uh, the escape. Well, that's a big button with a flashlight on it. And by flashlight, I mean light bulb words. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Hey. What horrible secret did this place hold? Oh, this Stanley looks different. To himself. This did looks he very have the different. strength to find out? Wow. This is like freaking Professor X's, uh, what's it called? Cerebro! It's freaking Cerebro. It's awesome. Okay, what's this? Cameras? Now the monitors jumped to life. Oh, Their true God. nature revealed. Each Holy bore the Christ. number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. No, it's and like Stanley, the Matrix. One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh my god, this is like the Matrix when he goes and talks to the architect. The Matrix reloaded. The second one. Not the first this one. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. What? When was fired, that sucks. Had Stanley been under control all this time? 601. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Son of a bitch. Luke, I am your father. No! That's impossible! <laughs> the dark side, I don't remember the line. Post the comment! No! He refused to believe it. I he refused. couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Never. It was unthinkable. No. Wasn't it? Was yeah. it even possible? No. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Totally. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Oh, Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad mind. or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, okay. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over oh, another God. human life. Holy for crap, he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yes. Perfect. I'm going to dismantle the hell out of these controls. Even though it says it's offline, so I'm not being controlled at the moment. Five. 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 That's a callback to, uh, to the whatchamacallit, to the demo. The eight game. I missed the eight game. You should have the eight game in the full game. Just saying. It should, I should be able to find it somewhere. <gasps> and when one. at last he oh, found the source God, of the room's power... He knew it was his duty, oh, his obligation, to put an narrator. end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Mm, I'm gonna listen to the narrator. Okay, turn it off. I'm gonna, after this, I'll, I'll flash back to, to, okay, here we go. Shh, shh, let's see what happens. I broke it. Oh, wait, I'm moving. It's dark. It's real dark. Blackness and a rising something. chill of uncertainty. What the hell? Was it over? Yeah. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. I know, right? Where There's had so many. Where his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I know, but right? As sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. 
For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. So pretty. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Sweet. Jump! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. That's really nice. Is it gonna start over again? Yay, I beat the game! So if you just follow the narrator, then you uh, get that. I'm going to cut to the part uh, where I can... Uh, I guess I'm gonna go down the escape route. Uh, so I'm gonna cut to that part. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Mind escape. Control facility. Go, 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 go. This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. That sucks. Why? Why? How? Is it gonna crush me? Behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity oh to God. turn around. It's gonna crush me. It's track. gonna crush me. I don't want this. I don't want it. I don't want it. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward yeah. and willingly confront his death. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. The hell is this? I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Oh. What the fuck? This is As mischievous. The word into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Uh, he reflected that his life uh, had been of no consequence whatsoever. Wait, 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 wait. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. No, this he doesn't like, know the real story, oh, trapped no, forever no, in his no. narrow vision of what this world is. Oh, Perhaps no. his death was of no great loss, oh, no, like plugging no. the eyeballs just gonna, from just the gonna. blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. All right, well, this was fun. I had lots of fun with. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, Just as like Stanley the was led helplessly okay. into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing <laughs> him instantly. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Uh, oh God. Oh God. My brain. This is cool. This is art. Stanley's computer. Okay, cool. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully this doesn't still kill me. All his computers, uh, oh no, choices, there's so many choices. Office clock, boss's office, oh god, there's so many options. Oh god, how will I ever know which one's the right one? There isn't a right one. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. See how it's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Wow. It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental understanding. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Employee lounge. Underground suite. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. It didn't look like there was anything in that room. 
I'm gonna go up these stairs, I guess. See where this leads. Freedom ending. Yep, done that. Oh god. Oh god, there's options again. Oh wait, no. I don't get options. Because I'm not going in that elevator. This is weird. This is so weird. Okay. 427, okay. This is like a museum of my life. 427, there's so many 427s. What do you say? Stanley's office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. I mean, they're, they're roughly the same. They're pretty close. Okay. Mm, cool. 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 All right. C -c -c cool. All right. From Sergei Medvedka. Asking the narrator, well, the thing I want to know is, what would you do if Stanley entered any other rooms? Narrator emails after the second trailer. This is weird. It's like a making of the game within the game. These are screenshots of the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I gotta get out of here. My brain is imploding. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Wait a second. That was a big old circle. Really? Really? Is there somewhere I can go? Is there something I can do in here? This is getting boring. War zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters. Which was not our intention. Hey, look, it's Tron. Okay. I guess it would be the, the second Tron. Okay, I need to find a way out of here. Come to that decision. I'm just... Did you hear that? I heard something. What do you say? The apartment timer. In the previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, the timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone will lead to a different ending. Oh, you should have done that. That would have been cool. Meeting room. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Obey, disobey, lounge, staircase, okay, cool, awesome. Where is this leading me? Give me, give me switches. Ah, uh, it's ending levers. Okay, okay, I just need to see where this ending goes. We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development. We each made a new version of the, do I get to watch them? No, no? Okay, bye. See ya. I gotta do stuff. There's people watching me. I have to get... Hey, why'd that say 71? I just did a big circle. Oh, exit, exit. Sweet. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can fuck? you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. Perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. Uh, you can still save these two. Damn you can it. stop the program before they both fail. Yeah. Just escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move <laughs> forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. It can be your own choice. Don't choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Okay, that's fine. Is it gonna stop me over again? Or is there some secret ending? Okay, okay, okay. Alright, sweet. Let's start over again. Cause why not? Begin the game again! Well now we know what happens if I go down the escape route. That's the one that leads to death, as the other one did. In the next episode, I will push the mind control button and we'll see what they've done with that. Because they've definitely expanded on all the ideas that they presented in the original mod. If you haven't seen the original mod, you should. I did a Let's Play of it on this channel, so you can check it out there. But anyway, I have to end the episode here, so thank you so much for watching. Click the annotation at the top right of the video to see more games that I've played. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and a comment to help me suck a little less and perhaps tell me things about this story that you've discovered on your own. And I will see you guys on the next episode of the Stanley Parable. Later!